because uh, beyond a certain distance, the use of fly ash as a blending material becomes uneconomical. So people would rather go with plain Portland cement uh, because that would work out to be more economically viable for them. So I think something like LC3 would give them an option to have uh, a different sort of a blending system. And uh, probably other advantages that probably they have, uh, uh, they might realize would be the early age strength development, which LC3 is known for as compared to fly ash concrete, which develops strength very slowly. So that uh, aspect can be improved upon and LC3 can perform better. The main uh, resistance to the use of blended cements in India so far has been that uh, these cements give uh, concrete that gains strength slowly. Uh, so if that initial period of uh, strength development can be lowered, uh, which the results from LC3 do show at the current moment, and that could be a big advantage in terms of scheduling the projects, uh, getting a better turnaround on con concrete production get, uh, and the construction of elements and so on. I think the initial trials have shown that uh, the plants can use existing outlay, uh, especially for calcination. Uh, the additional investment required is not as much as probably putting up a new cement plant. And the fact that LC3 is reducing your clinker usage to nearly half means that you can double your capacity from the same size plant. You just need to invest in an extra calciner to burn the clay and get the calcined clay. So uh, that, that would mean uh, really that people can uh, get out more cement uh, with less clinker production. Uh, one major aspect that lies in the way of any new production or any new product to be accepted by the market is the availability of standards. And one has to really work with the standardization agencies, give a clear proof of performance and uh, present some sort of a way in which this cement can be introduced into the market. Uh, we do have available standards that could be possibly uh, amended to make room for the such new cements, but uh, one has to look at that more technically and uh, uh, ensure that there is proper cooperation from other agencies which are involved in the standardization process. So ultimately in India, uh, if it's not in the standards, it won't get used for infrastructure construction. Uh, residential construction is not that uh, much of an issue, especially when you want to make bricks or blocks. Uh, use of the cement can be started as early as we have the proof of performance available. But for infrastructure, for buildings uh, uh, to be used, uh, it has to pass the standard or it has to have its own standard to be really accepted by the engineering community. Mm -hmm.